Hi, I'm Abby, and I'd like to show you how to make these awesome t-shirts with the Cricut and freezer paper stencils. Um, what you'll need for this freezer paper that you get in, in your grocery store in the aisle with the aluminum foil and plastic wrap and you need fabric paint uh, you get at the craft store we got tulip fabric paint uh, you need foam brushes that you can get all over <laughs> and you'll need an iron a t-shirt and uh, the Cricut machine for this um, we cut the we cut the the freezer paper to fit the mat, but it's a lot bigger than what we're going to cut out so that the excess can protect the shirt. Um, the freezer paper has a shiny side and a dull side, and you have to put the dull side down because the shiny side doesn't stick well to the mat. And um, when we're ironing, you put the shiny side down. If you have text, then you have to press the flip button so that it's facing the right way when you flip the map over. Um, I really like the indie card, so, so for this project, I picked the strawberry. Get it? I picked the strawberry. Um, I wanted it about four inches. So I set the dial over there. Um, for pressure, we used medium. And for speed, we used medium. For depth, we have five. And what we're going to do is we're going to move it to about the center of the page. Oops. And then we're going to press center point so that it's in the middle. And we don't have to do that. So. Um, now we're ready to cut. So we will remove the pieces that represent the painted areas on the t-shirt. So it works as a stencil. Um, the rest has to be ironed on so that it doesn't move. Okay. So this part it's going to be the colored part. Um, this t-shirt has been washed according to the directions on our paint. We have already ironed the shirt flat and put a piece of freezer paper on, inside the shirt so the paint doesn't soak through. Take the stencil off so, um, so you can place it. It's really easy to work with the freezer paper because um, it isn't sticky until you iron it, so you can position it wherever you want. The iron turn on the halfway setting with no steam because I want to make sure that the edges are stuck down well. So. It only takes a couple of sef seconds, and if you miss a spot, you can go back over it. You really want to make sure that it doesn't come up underneath it. <coughs> One reason that freezer paper is better than paper or plastic stencils is you can place the inside pieces, um, or our strawberry seeds, and they don't have to be connected to the rest of the design. The pieces that we removed earlier are are handy for positioning the early side pieces. So, okay. Now our seats are in position and we don't need this anymore. And we're ready to paint. So we're starting with the green part so that we can have it different colors. And you want to make sure that you don't get underneath the paper. Oh, 
or onto the red part. Uh. <laughs> you want it in a pretty thick cup. Sound effects. We're done with the green part. We'll move on to the red. You want to go down on the seats and make sure you don't knock them out of position. Okay. You want to make sure that you get down straight onto the inside parts so you don't knock them out of position. Maybe we should have put something over it so we didn't get any, so we won't get any paint on to the other colors. Okay, now we're done painting. Now we just wait for it to dry, put another coat on if necessary, and you've got your shirt. And this is the finished product. I painted in the seeds a little bit with black paint using our extra piece. And there you go. It's all done. Good luck.